chaos today in Penang. Where? We're in Penang. Where? Penang. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We spent five nights in Penang, Malaysia's second smallest state, home to some incredible street art, amazing food, and even the world's longest zipline coaster and water slide, both a kilometer each. We've come to this restaurant called Black Kettle, it's actually a cafe, um, for breakfast. Jason chose it this time, um, and they just have the nicest brunch menu ever. So I have gone for the fluffy pancakes, and um, what did you go for? Um, Egg French bread. cheesy omelette. Ooh, French cheesy omelette. Got a fresh OJ. So creamy on the top. Also got an iced vanilla latte, which I haven't really had in, thank you. <laughs> and Jason's just got himself a little flat white. With oat milk. Always oat milk. Mm. Wow. Look at these pancakes. Look at the thickness. What's your emergency? Best place to come if it's raining. <laughs> Not this bit, but... These ones. Do you reckon people actually stand under here when it rains? You definitely could. We've just been to the Upside Down Museum in Penang and it was so good. Bit of harmless fun. Bit of harmless fun. The difference between that one and the one we went to in Epo is the one in Epo was like a bit more wall art, whereas that one was all 3D. And the staff take all the pictures for you in this one in um, Penang. So we can both be in the photos. Jason's actually been to Penang before, so he's kind of showing me around this time, which is nice. Not having to do any of the planning. <laughs> I'm annoyed in a funny way. We were sat having some food on a street at the street food place on a table, um, and then we moved to another street food place across the road to get some food. Bought a drink off the guy, went back to his table, and he said, "You have to buy fruit juice off me." And I said, "Why?" He said, "Well, because there's a table charge of one ringgit, so buy a fruit juice." And I said, "Well, I'd rather give you one ringgit than spend eight, eight ringgit on a fruit juice." But I was just a little bit butt hurt. already sat there and already bought a juice. Well, you bought a beer actually. Bought a beer? Um, bought a beer, bought two meals, three meals. Yeah. Moved for about five seconds to get something else. Sit back down in the same place, get charged a ring out. It's 16p, it's a fair price for outside food, but it's the principle. It's the principle. And then another couple came and sat down at the table and I was like, well, surely I'll pay for this table now. I can't sit down there. <laughs> And it was at this point we thought something was going very wrong with the ride. Yeah. 
Alright, I've got it, 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 i have got it 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 i have got
I know we keep saying it. <laughs> that made me jump. <laughs> also, as somebody who used to drink only lukewarm water, I'm now converted to the fridge. Fresh, cold temperature. Where are we going? We are on a hump some food. Dinner. Not hunting. Dinner. No, don't have to hunt. Oh, this is rat territory. I'll tell you what I was thinking earlier. Tell me. Because going out for a meal, we've been here, what, eight weeks? Going out for a meal still seems like a big choice. But you actually just, it's no different to going into Tesco's or Sainsbury's and just choosing what you want off the shelf. But because it's actually like choosing it, it always feels like a big deal. Like you've yeah. got to get a shower. I was sat there in bed thinking like, well, I need to, if we're going out for food, I need to shower. So I don't really. Because we moved um, hostels today, we sort of had like one of those weird in-between days where we haven't really done loads, but it feels like we've done a lot. So we had to move hostels at about lunchtime. So all, well, sorry, all we've actually had to eat today is a bagel. We've moved hostels three times. We've booked a hostel for one night because I had a really bad back and a quick neck. And the beds at the other hostel wasn't great, so hotel. So we've had a hostel for one night. So at one point today, we were checked in three different places. Sitting there on Love Lane. Right. Yon Yala. Got two Chinese teas right here. They are just so cute. The pot is adorable. There's a board outside that says they've got an opening special, which is three dishes and a rice for 20 bring it per person. So we've gone with that. I can't remember what these are. Maybe I think like... it's crab yeah. in like a little pastry kind of thing. Wow. You put a bit soy sauce on there. This is the Tiffin um, set meal that's the opening special. So I think there's two rices in this tower and then three dishes. But no idea how you get it out. Can you give it a go? There we go. Embarrassing. Nice one. Ooh, vegetables and salad. Um, yeah. Not, no idea. And cucumber. Yeah, this is what my plate looks like. So we've got some vegetables, some salad, some blue rice, and then not sure what this is, but it's vegetables. And then this is a chicken curry, but Jason has the chicken out of it and I have the potato because that's just what I prefer. <laughs> that was absolutely delicious. It's just started absolutely chucking it down outside. So I'm gonna try and leg it back to the hostel now. Here we glow. I think this was meant to cost about £7.58. Was it £7.50? £6.58 each. I booked a skate, the water park, on the same app. I think uh, head out, and then you get 10% off your next purchase and a credit for doing the skate, so worth doing. £1.50 each. <gasps> wow. Today I gave a warm, at least it was later. You've got a turtle above your head. <laughs> <laughs> I like it in here. Reminds me of PlayStation. It reminds me of Oh wow, look. Infinity, this will go on for infinity. We went back in because Erin lost her sunglasses and they came off her head. I found them. But it's glow in the dark so somebody could have stepped on them but she doesn't know that so I'm going to pretend like I haven't found them. Let's see what her reaction is. Okay, she's coming out now. Found them? No. Oh. I haven't found them. I swear. I swear. I swear I haven't found them. I haven't found them? What? I swear. We should go and look again then. I haven't I haven't found them. I haven't found them. I haven't. I thought you were gonna be much more angry than that. The reason why I knew Jason had found them is because he is so lovely with things like that that he wouldn't leave that museum until we'd found them but like i had them on my face going into the glow in the dark thing so i'm i definitely knew that they were in there and jason just would not leave until we'd found them it wasn't just, great it was, I, I think we paid three pounds so one pound fifty each i think that was too much um, i'd pay a pound each well we're 50p over price aren't we <laughs> funny we've just seen this sign no to bogus monks we've had quite a lot of monks coming up to us like selling us like key rings and and stuff and you sort of asking for money we're asking for money but they've got like merch we've seen six yeah. 
and then we've just seen that sign saying no to bogus monks. Didn't know that was really a thing to be honest, but it makes sense now. One annoying thing about not having a SIM card is you have to wait an hour in the restaurant after finishing your food because it rains and you can't order a grab and the restaurant didn't have Wi-Fi. Monorail. I've seen a little sign for no drone zone. It's crazy. It's very calm up here. First thoughts, Aaron. <laughs> Talk to me, Aaron. Where are we? We are at the top of Penang Hill. It is 7.21 in the morning. And the sunrise is just starting to happen. I thought we'd missed it when we were coming up on the train because um, it was getting really, really light and you couldn't really see like, out the train, but it's happening now. Did you think? Beautiful. Uh, more, actually, like more beautiful than I thought it was going to be. That was 100% worth the 5:30. 5:30, yeah, 5:30 a.m. alarm. Not something we've had to do for a while, but so glad we did. We actually missed the first train up here, which is at 6:30, but we got the seven o'clock one, um, and I think that was better because it meant we were only up here for like five or six minutes before the sunrise happened. If you're visiting Southeast Asia, specifically Malaysia and Thailand, um, if you have a drone like me, so many places are no drone zones. There are a lot of places where you would want to fly your drone where you just can't. So that is something to consider if you're thinking of travelling with a drone. So cool. Amazing. Those trees look like um on a Christmas cake. Yeah. I was gonna say between two things, something Bob Ross paints or like a pipe cleaner. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> We're leaving Penang. Penang to Langkawi, 9.20. How long's the flight? 35 minutes. 35 minutes on the flight. Silly, but they don't run the ferries anymore, so we don't have a choice. The airport's nice though. The Golden Arches are looking at me. Do you want a McDonald's? Yeah, I think so. See you later, Penang. Bye! Bye.